Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 9 students. Sa video na ito ay igagayad ko kayo dito sa inyong learning task number 1, Use the Laws of Rational Exponent to Simplify. Meron akong separate na video tungkol dito. Kung gusto ninyong panoorin yon, i-click nyo na lang dito sa taas or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin para maintindihan ninyo. So, ang focus lang natin dito ay itong learning task number 1. Number 1, we have a raised to 4 to the power of 3 halves. I-review lang natin yung mga loss of exponents. Yun ay product of a power, quotient of a power, power of a power, power of a product, at power of a quotient. Dito sa number 1, we have quantity of a raised to 4 to the power of 3 halves. As you can see, meron tayong fraction na exponent dito sa labas ng quantity. At meron tayong power dito sa loob, kaya ang gagamitin natin ay power to power. At pag power to power, imumultiply nyo lang naman yung exponent. That is A, tapos ito imumultiply natin. 4 times 3 over 2. Then simplify, we have A, 4 times 3 equals 12 over 2. Then simplify, we will have A. 12 divided by 2 equals 6. So, ang final answer ay A raised to the power of 6. Ganun lang siya. Number 2, we have 4B raised to 1 half times B raised to 3 halves. So, ito naman ay product of a power. Kasi meron tayong multiplication tapos meron tayong exponent na dalawa. I-multiply muna natin yung mga constant. So, ito, 4 times may invisible na 1 dyan, kaya 4 lang yan. Tapos, kopyahin yung B, raised to the power of 1 half, i-add natin yung power nila. So, pag product of a power, i-add naman natin yung exponent. So, dito kanina multiply, dito naman i-add lang natin. 1 half plus 3 over 2. As you can see, meron namang similar fraction, ba? Pag similar fraction, i-add nyo lang yung numerator nila. So, 1 plus 3 equals 4 over, kopyahin nyo lang yung denominator. Then, simplify, we will have 4B, then 4 divided by 2 equals 2. So, the final answer is 4B raised to the power of 2. Iniibahan ko yung mga given mga anak ha para subukan ninyong isolve yung mga nasa module ninyo. Number 3, we have a raised to 1 half to the power of 3 halves. Parang dito lang din sa number 1, power of a power. So, pag power of a power, multiply the exponent. So, 1 half times 3 over 2. Ibaba ko muna yung uh, solution niya. Meron tayong 1 half times 3 over 2. Pag magmumultiply tayo, numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. So, 1 times 3 equals 3 over 2 times 2 equals 4. Since wala naman na tong simplified form, meaning, yan na yung final answer. So, A raised to the power of 3 over 4. So, ito na yung final answer. Nasundan nyo? Basta lagi ninyong tandaan na pag power to power, multiply the exponent. Pag product of a power, add the exponent. Or kung isusulat nyo to sa radical expression, yung 4, yun yung magiging index. Radical sign, ilagay natin yung base, maglagay ng parenthesis to the power of 3. Okay, the same lang din sila, maglagay na lang kayo ng or, kasi acceptable naman tong dalawang to. Okay? Ito naman, kung i-express nyo siya as radical expression, kopyahin nyo lang yung 4. Yung b squared, ang ex radical expression yan ay square root of b. Mag-or na lang kayo ha. Number 4 tayo, we have 12 
raised to the power of 3 fourth over 4 raised to the power of 3 fourth. Yan ay example ng power of a quotient. Ang gagawin natin dito, i-express muna natin yung base as exponential form. Ano yung factors ng 12? Para magkapareho sila dito sa denominator. 4 times 3, ba? Pero yung 4, pwede nating i-express as 2 raised to 2. Para magkapareho sila dito sa baba. Then, i-multiply natin yung 3. Maglagay ng parenthesis. Kopyahin natin yung exponent na 3 over 4. Over, eto, i-express natin as exponential form. Pwedeng isulat as 2 raised to 2 to the power of 3 over 4. Ah, uh, sorry, 1 dapat to. 1 pala dapat to. So, 1 dapat to. Sorry. And then, pwede na natin gamitin yung power to power. Distribute natin yung exponent dito sa loob. So, magiging 2 raised to 2 times ito, 3 fourth times 3 raised to the power of 3 fourth. Nasundan ninyo? So, ito, dinistribute natin dito tsaka dito. Over, ito naman, 2 raised to the power of 2 times 1 fourth. Kasi power to power yan. And then, simplify natin yung mga exponents. So, that is 2. 2 times 3 equals 6 over 4. Times 3 raised to the power of 3 over 4. Over 2 raised to the power of 2 times 1 fourth equals 2 over 4. As you can see, pareho yung base nito, yung 2 tsaka 2. Pwede natin isubtract, di ba? So, magiging 2. Tapos, 6 minus 2 equals 4. Kopyahin yung denominator, that is 4. Times, ito naman, kopyahin lang natin, 3 raised to the power of 3 fourth. So, magiging 4, divide, 4 divided by 4 equals 1. Times, 3 raised to the power of 3 fourth. Then, pwede natin itong isulat as 2 na lang kasi 2 raised to 1 equals 2. Times, 3 raised to the power of 3 fourth. So, yan na yung final answer. 2 times 3 raised to the power of 3 fourth. Dito naman sa number 5, we have quantity of x raised to 3, y raised to 4 to the power of 1 over 12. So, meron tayong power to power ulit. I-multiply lang natin yung mga exponents. So, x raised to 3 times 1 over 12. Then, y raised to 4 times 1 over 12. Simplify natin. We will have x. 3 times 1 equals 3 over 2. Then y raised to 4 times 1 equals 4 over 12. Pwede pa natin isimplify ito? Pwede pa. So, ang magiging final answer na ay x raised to 3 over half kasi hindi na natin yan pwedeng simplify. Then y, 4 divided by 4 equals 1 over 12 divided by 4 equals 3. So, this is now the final answer. x raised to 3 half, y raised to 1 third. And then, pag isusulat nyo naman to as radical expression, we will have 2, then kopyahin yung index, yung 4, radical sign, then 3 to the power of 3. So, ganyan ha? Ito naman, pwede rin nating express as radical expression. We will have yung 2, Ay, index niya, so pwedeng isulat na lang as square root of x raised to the power of 3. Then, yung y raised to 1 third naman, that is 3. And then, radical sign, y raised to the power of 1. At pwede rin naman cube root of y na lang. So, pwedeng ganito or pwede rin ito. Alright? Okay na? Kung gusto ninyong panoorin yung learning task number 2, i-click nyo na lang sa taas or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please do like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!